Hey, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy Daniel here at Press Play Productions. I know it's been a hot minute since we dropped something, so I decided to come in and talk to you today about the Large Diaphragm or LD1948 by Desen Golf Audio. It's a really great microphone that I've been using, probably one of the best mics under 500 bucks. They're very scarce right now to find, but if you can find one online or if you can find one pre, uh, pre-owned or something, uh, it's gonna be a great microphone for you to jump on. Last video I posted, I know it's been a hot minute since we dropped something, but the last video I posted uh, was about eight months ago and that video was on the unboxing of the Shure SM7B and for some reason when I uploaded it the privacy settings on there didn't allow it for public viewing so it's been eight months and y'all probably haven't seen it and uh, I, I don't have many subscribers I'm not a famous guy I'm not a popular guy I'm not uh, someone that people uh, turn to for advice however I do like to uh, post all the gear that I have because some people have some questions and, and I feel like sometimes I'm being, I'm doing some research on, on a specific on a specific item or uh, something in particular and I noticed that there's uh, no content in there for the specific thing that I'm looking for. Like I'm looking for dimensions, I'm looking for weight, I'm looking for different things and sometimes people don't o- upload the, that kind of content. So I'm doing review on, on, on a bunch of gear that I have that, that I've been acquiring over the years um so if you can do me a favor go back and look at that video it's the sure sm7b unboxing it's actually this microphone that i'm using right now it's a really good microphone for broadcast for radio for uh rap vocals for everything it's a really good uh solid microphone that can work in various different applications but that's not the mic we're talking about today so forget about that real quick and let's focus on this other mic. This is the Dezengoff Audio LD 1948. And this mic is killer, bro. This mic is probably, probably, probably goes hand in hand with some of the top uh, end microphones or top tier microphones that I have. It, it beats out some of the Neumanns that I've used or that I have. Um, and it, it's a really good microphone, really well-rounded. So today we're gonna look at uh, what comes inside the box. We're also gonna look at it from the inside. I'm gonna open it up so that you can take a look at some of the components and stuff. And we'll go over all the nitty gritty stuff like that. So stick around and we'll be right back. All right, guys, we're back here. This is the briefcase that it comes in. It came in just a cardboard box. Came really well packaged, but that was about it. Uh, inside the the packaging, uh, this was wrapped up in there. This is the briefcase that the microphone comes in. I love it when microphone companies include a carrying case. The reason why is because you can control the climate that your microphone is in. That way, it's not too hot, it's not too cold. You can have the microphone really well protected. If you drop the briefcase, then you do have a chance of your microphone surviving that, as opposed to dropping it by itself. Plus, it's really good and really convenient when you do a lot of mobile recording and you, or you're on the go. You can easily grab one of those uh, cases and just throw it in your your vehicle and and you're good. So this came in this briefcase and we're gonna take a look at what comes inside. Um, It has a basic handle right here in the front, as you can see, has two latches. There's no key on here. Some microphone cases do include a key. This one does not. Uh, So it's just the simple latches. And uh, on the inside, it came with one paper, which was uh, uh, just the, the description of the microphone and the warranty on the microphone. Um, and that was it that I have it stored away with all my other documents in here in the case All we see is just the shock mount and the microphone So we're gonna go ahead and take the shock mount out so that we can see it Hopefully you can see from this angle that that you're in right now um, So it's really 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 stuck in there. There we go. So it's your basic um, Shock mount it, it, it has your your elastic um, bands here to to protect it. It's the kind that that, that tightens on the bottom, which is cool because uh, um, the Aventone one has the kinds that has the pins that you tighten, and I don't really like that. I don't feel like it's super secure. So the ones that you screw in on the bottom are really cool. It's something like you would find on, on pretty much any kind of microphone. I know that warm audio mics have similar shock mounts, and MXL mics they all have really similar shock mounts. Um, so this is the shock mount that comes in there. And then we have the microphone. This is the the microphone itself. This is the LD 1948, large diaphragm 1948 by Golf Audio. And I really love this copper finish on top. It kind of looks a little bit like a, like a Telefunken mic, uh, something like that. So this is the microphone. It's got a regular XLR three pin connector on the bottom. 
and that's it the microphone doesn't have any bells any whistles no pad switch no roll off it has no different polarities it's not a tube mic it doesn't need a power supply uh, it's just a, a regular 48 volt large diaphragm condenser microphone so this is it it has a really good weight to it um, it has a really good way to it because it, it's, it's a really solid microphone feels really really nice I like I said I like the the, the brushed copper look that it has on top on here on the bottom also you'll see that on the screen as well one thing I did notice is when I got the microphone it wasn't um, centered I noticed that the 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 grill was a little bit off axis a tiny bit so I messaged Matt and right away he replied and I, I asked him about it and he said oh you know what I, I might have not put it on there uh, correctly he's like just take the uh, some small allen wrenches and and loosen the screws and then you can just straighten it out and then tighten them back up again so it was pretty cool that i didn't have to send it back in i thought i was gonna have to do something and it's really cool that he answered me immediately like i sent him the message in the morning and that afternoon i had my reply from him so it was really cool um to do so i'm going to open up the mic even though i know that once i open it it's going to break the seal right here but hopefully um Matt, uh, I can send him the video in case I do need to do a warranty claim or anything. Hopefully that doesn't uh, void anything. And if it does, um, I have it on video that we did it here. So um, that way we can take a look at, at, at it on the inside and we can see what exactly we're getting. So let me open that up. I'm gonna clear some of this area here around us so that we can um, be able to see this a little bit better. And we'll go from there. All right, guys, so this is it. I luckily was able to remove the microphone without breaking the seal on here. Um, this is the microphone. These are the components on the inside. I'm going to bring it up a little bit closer so we can take a look at it. That way you can see the front and back. It's a large diaphragm condenser microphone. It has a max SPL of 130. So it really can, can, can take some loud uh, sources. But let me bring it up close so that you can take a look at it. So the microphone is the microphone is designed really well and it really clean solders on here everything looks really good everything looks in place um, but what's the point about me talking about a microphone and not showing you what the microphone sounds like right so I'm going to do a simple take I'm going to place the microphone uh, close to the sound source I'm gonna record just a couple of strums on an acoustic guitar that way you can get some uh, ideas of what that sounds like so hang on and let's go ahead and take a listen to what this microphone sounds like all right Alrighty guys, so there we have it. That's the LD1948 by Desen Golf Audio. It's a really great mic. Uh, I really like it. it. It sounds really well on most applications. Uh, it sounds exceptionally well when you pair it together with the Desen Golf preamps. Today I was running it straight through the front preamps of my Antelope Audio, but uh, normally when I'm gonna use this microphone for actual tracking, I'll use it in conjunction with the Desen Golf D4 mic preamp, which it, it just pairs well um, together and, and they just sound they just sound phenomenal when we use them in conjunction. Uh, so it's a great microphone. Anything Black Lion Audio, anything Desen Golf Audio, you know that you can trust. You know that it's really well built and you know that it's superb audio quality. So uh, I want to leave you before uh, before we go. I want to tell you I had mentioned about the Shure SM7B not coming with a microphone case and that kind of being a deal breaker for me with microphones. Um, so what I did is I picked up this case right here. Where is this? There it is. I picked up this case that we can find at um, Harbor Freights. So this is just a simple, it's kind of supposed to look like a Pelican case, um, but it's not, the brand is Apache. So this one in particular is the Apache 2800. Now I do know they have small, the smaller the number, the smaller the unit. Uh, they have the 4800, which is a bit bigger, um, but I purchased this 2800 and I purchased a, a different, um, 
one also i want to say it was the 1400 which is a bit smaller that i'm using for my pencil condenser microphones uh what's cool is that the foam that is inside is, is pluck uh foam so that you can uh pick out the the size of your microphone and put it in here i just bought one for uh, this i actually have my gun in here um so i bought one as my gun case and i bought another one so that i can use for my sm7b so these things are only 24 bucks online or in store at harbor freights i am not affiliated with them <laughs> my channel is not big enough for that but um but i am totally totally for uh trying to be the musician on a budget whether you're looking for something to carry your pedals in or something to carry your microphones in or maybe you do live stream and you want to carry your your equipment with you this is definitely a, a really good uh really good option for that so yeah i'm gonna be uh, using this for my sm7b and i thought i'd share that with you right before we left but once again guys thank you so much for watching thank you for tuning in um and i hope to be dropping another video probably in a couple of weeks so stay on the lookout for that i also want to know what what do y'all want to see do y'all want to see more unboxing videos do you want like a studio tour do you want to see what plugins i use when i'm mixing vocals whatever it is drop it in the comments and let me know what it is that you would like to see but right now, peace and much love. God bless y'all.